everyone it is danny and welcome to this update video so i hope that you guys are doing well and merry christmas i really hope that you enjoy the day with your loved ones so of course i'm here with what is happening in terms of weather conditions and we can see that the most significant uh thing right now is really in the eastern gulf of mexico we can see all of that shower and thunderstorm activity moving through and those white dots they indicate lightning strikes but uh, as we take a look at the region on the whole there isn't any major system making its way in or through to induce a lot of heavy rainfall but with that gulf system there's been some heavy rain in parts of western cuba and even portions of the u.s as well and that is likely to continue as we head through today now as we go on to the rainfall forecast map here we can see it and as it becomes more colorful that is indicated a lot more rainfall so we can see all that color in the gulf extended into parts of cuba near the cayman islands and the yucatan as well and uh, as we head through much of the islands though going toward the bahamas Turks and caicos islands the rest of cuba jamaica hispaniola puerto rico the virgin islands through the Lesser Antilles, ABC Islands, and then over towards Central America. We're not seeing that much is anticipated as we head through today. So there could be some showers moving through, maybe even a passing heavy shower at times, but in terms of any major system to induce a lot of rain across the Caribbean islands and even uh, into Central America as well, that is not expected as we head through today. But looking at Northern South America, it's a completely different story. So with the intertropical convergence zone within the region, a lot of rainfall activity is expected in Colombia. So that area has been very active, it's no surprise, but also for southern Venezuela and the Guyanas, there could be quite a bit of rainfall as we head through today and uh, potentially flooding. So please be mindful of that, guys. And then as we head toward the wind forecast for today, we can see that it is still quite windy. We're seeing these darker shadings of those purples and even those blue shadings as well in the Gulf and also offshore of uh, Florida in the vicinity of the Bahamas. We can see some of those purple shadings. So winds up to around 20, 25 knots, uh, potentially even higher than that across some spots. Things are also windy across portions of Cuba and the central and parts of the Western Caribbean on a whole. But overall, it's calming down. And this is the forecast for tomorrow. So things are definitely expected to be on the calmer side tomorrow. Of course, the central Caribbean remains active. Offshore of Colombia, that region is usually quite active more than the rest of the Caribbean. But we can see that things are definitely expected to calm down. But with that next front that's going to be moving through those winds are going to be kicking up again as well as those waves and speaking of uh there's also going to be that dip in temperature for parts of the caribbean so this is what gfs is forecasting for sunday of next week the 31st of the month final day of the year we can see these blue shadings across portions of the northern caribbean even over towards central america as well so that is indicating below average temperatures and then as we head toward the middle of the week wednesday the third we can still see that massive cool air lingering around and euro is also showing that cool down this is as we head into saturday though saturday the 30th we can see all of these blue shadings representing the below average temperatures and then as we head into the new year things are slowly starting to uh, go back to normal for the most part but still seeing some of those blue shadings across portions of the northern caribbean so there's going to be a lot more of this as we head into january and of course guys i'm here to keep you posted on all that is happening so that is pretty much it for this update's video and i hope you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions please do leave them in the comments i'll respond to you when i can and remember to always be with the wise